Hello and welcome. Learning full stack development is incredibly valuable because it allows you to understand and work on both the front end and back end of applications, making you a versatile and in demand developer. Today's video is all about guiding you through the process of building a full stack application from the ground up. Let's get started and turn ideas into real functioning web applications. We'll start with an overview of full stack development and set up our environment, build our backend, create the frontend, and then seamlessly connect the two. Along the way, you will gain hands-on experience with industry relevant tools and techniques that will empower you to tackle real world projects. So what exactly is full stack development? Full stack development encompasses the process of working on both the frontend and the backend of an application. Frontend is that side of an application which a an user sees or interacts with, and backend is everything behind the curtains or basically processings that user cannot see. So as you understood this, now let's proceed. And before we start coding, we need to set up our development environment. For this video, we'll be using Node.js for our backend and React for our frontend. Let me also highlight here that if you are a newbie or want to know more about Node.js, Check out our Node.js tutorial in our channel. Okay, now let's start by installing Node.js. Head over to the official Node.js website, download the installer and follow the installation instructions. Once installed, open your terminal and type node-v to verify the installation. So great, now that we have Node.js set up, Let's set up our project structure. We'll use a popular framework called Express.js for our backend and create an app using React.js for our frontend. First, create a new directory for your project. Inside this directory, run npx create react app client to set up the React frontend. Next, create another directory called server for our backend. Inside the server directory, initialize a new Node.js project by running npm init-y. Oh wow, we have set up our project structure. Let's move on to building our backend. We'll start by installing Express and setting up our server. In your server directory, run npm install Express. Now create a new file called index.js and add the following code to set up a basic express server. The code begins by importing the express.js library. Express is a popular node.js web application framework that simplifies the process of building web application by providing a set of robust features and utilities. Next, an instance of the express application is created by utilizing the imported express module as a function. This object is stored in the variable name app. The variable port is defined with the value 3001, specifying the port number on which the server will listen for incoming requests. Next, a route is established for handling HTTP GET request to the root path of the server. When a client makes a GET request to the root path, the specified callback function is executed. In this case, the callback sends the response hello world back to the client. The app.listen method starts the express server and specified port that is 3001. A callback function is executed once the server is successfully started, displaying a message to the console indicating that the server is running. Now, let's create an API endpoint to handle our data. For this example, we'll create a simple to-do list application. Add the following code to index.js to create a basic API endpoint for our to-do list. This code defines an array of to-dos that is tasks and creates an HTTP GET root slash API slash to-dos that returns the to-dos or task arrays as a JSON response when accessed. So with our backend in place, let's set up our database. For this tutorial, we'll use MongoDB. Also, if you want more promising knowledge on MongoDB, check out our MongoDB tutorial in our channel. Now, Head over to the MongoDB website and sign up for a free account.
create a new cluster and database, then get the connection string. In your project, install the Mongoose package and connect to your MongoDB database. The code imports the Mongoose library, which is an object data modeling library for MongoDB and Node.js. It simplifies interactions with MongoDB database by providing a schema-based solution for modeling application data. The mongoose.connect method here is called to establish a connection to a MongoDB database using the provided connection string. Options like use new URL parser setting as true and use unified topology setting as true are passed to ensure compatibility and to avoid depreciation warnings. A mongoose schema named todo schema is defined using the mongoose.schema method. This schema specifies the structure of the document that will be stored in the MongoDB collection. It includes fields for task, that is a string, and a completed variable, that is a Boolean variable. The mongoose.model method here is used to compile the todo schema into a mongoose model named todo. This model represents a collection in the MongoDB database and provides an interface for interacting with the documents in that collection. Oh, great. Now that our backend is ready, let's set up our React frontend. So we'll start by cleaning up the default app structure. Also, let me mention here for you, if you want more promising knowledge on React, check out our React tutorial in our channel. Okay, let's get ahead. Delete unnecessary files and create a new component called todo list.js to display our todo list. Now add the following code to fetch data from our API and display it. So what this code is all about? The code imports necessary modules from the React package, including use effect and use state. The todo list function component is defined. Inside it, a state variable todos and its setter function set todos are created using the use state hook. Here, the initial state of todos is an empty array. The use effect hook is used to perform side effects in function components. In this case, it's used to fetch todos from the API slash todos endpoint where the component mounts and the fetch data is then stored in the todo state using set todos. Inside the JSX, a titled todo list and an unordered list are rendered, for which todo items in the todos array, a list item is created with the todos task as its content. The key is set to todo.id to ensure unique identification for each list item. The todo list component is exported as the default export making it available for use in other parts of the application. So it's done. Finally, let's connect our backend and frontend to create a seamless application. In your React app, create a proxy in the package.json file to route API requests to our Express server. Now, before doing this last step, let me give you an idea about proxy and localhost. So a proxy server is a mediator between client and other servers. Proxy servers can be used to gain access to resources on different networks, filter content, boost security, and improve performance. Additionally, they can offer privacy by masking the client's IP address. Now, what is localhost? The term localhost describes a device loopback network interface. In IPv4, it is commonly denoted by the IP address 127.0.0.1 or double colon 1 in IPv6. A device program is effectively speaking with itself when it interacts with localhost. This is frequently utilized for development and testing. Now, let's get back to the next step where you have to start both your Express server and React app. So, in your terminal, run node index.js in the server directory and npm start in the client directory. Open your browser and navigate to http colon slash slash localhost colon 3001 to see your full stack application in action. And there you have it. We have built a complete full stack application from scratch. This is just a starting point. There are many more features and improvements you can add like user authentication, advanced styling and many more. I hope you found this video helpful and engaging. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. 
फील फ्री टू लीव योर क्वेश्चन और कमेंट्स बिलो आई विल ग्लैडली हेल्प हैप्पी कोडिंग